Hey everyone, we're gonna go ahead and get started here, I think. Uh, we're just jumping back into Wolf Quest. Thank you guys all for coming, uh, especially as late as it is. It, it's still pretty hot. It's still the middle of summer. It was a little bit cooler this week than last week. It was 100 today and not 109 like it was earlier in the week. So maybe we're doing a little bit better, but we're still gonna keep streaming at night until things get a little cooler as a whole. Uh, so again, I apologize for anybody watching this on Twitch who's uh, watching this and being like, oh my gosh, it's insanely late. Um, although, if you live in Europe or somewhere where the time zones are not normally <laughs> conducive to being able to catch me live, you might, you might appreciate it. So, uh, but welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we have, um, as Rain said, we got late night streams for the foreseeable future. I'll let you guys know when that's going to be changing. Ideally, I do want to bring it back to afternoon times, but this is the only time I can turn off my air conditioner and just not immediately die. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome everyone. Welcome back, girls and girls. Don't, don't worry about if you haven't made it to previous streams or whatnot. Um, and we're glad you're here now, and you can always catch up later here on the JZX535 channel on Twitch or the JPlace2 channel on YouTube. We'll be starting to post up our post episodes there again about a week after they air here on Twitch, and they'll stay up there for good even after they go down uh, from Twitch. Twitch only keeps them for like two weeks, I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> especially don't worry about catching things live while we're dealing with the sun being a pain. But uh, yeah, and you know, even if even if you're watching this later on, we're still glad you're here. If you want to join us live, you can do that at JZX5 Grab on Twitch. But if you want to keep watching them later after the fact uh, on YouTube or on Twitch, you're welcome to do that as well. Uh, we're just glad to have you here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see ya. Thank, thank you very much for watching the VODs as well. Uh, they do support the channel too. Uh, let's get ready and go back. Oh no. Oh gosh, yeah. If you don't have air conditioner, I'm so sorry. I hope you're staying cool. Uh, I'm gonna start this up. We'll take down the stream screen and I'm gonna talk about something here for a minute because we have a new thing. So we have our goal back and it's a little bit of a different goal than normal. So, and this is for Puma because this is Frodo's last letter and Puma is the confirmed heir at, of the, um, the Moonstone pack. She will be the wolf we'll be following next. She is one of Peregrine's daughters, and uh, she won the poll on YouTube by a landslide, so we're going to be following her. Um, but uh, we are doing, this time we're trying something a little bit different, in part because of the event we have coming up tomorrow night, if you're watching this on Twitch. Um, as it's going live. So we're going to be trying a sub goal or rather a sub point goal. Uh, basically every sub contributes at least one point. Higher level, level subs uh, contribute multiple points. And if we get 20 sub points, then we'll be putting Puma's first litter on accurate. Uh, but we're going to be doing stuff with donations in tomorrow night's Iron Wolf stream. So we'll be taking a look at that more then. And that's going to be what we're trying with the donations. And we might take a few times to... Uh, to try and figure that out, <laughs> but this is what we're going to be, um, this is what we're going to be looking at, uh, for the time being. Alright, um, oh no, I I'm glad your summers are usually mild, but yeah, oh man, 67 degrees summer sounds amazing, oh my gosh, I get to like 80 degrees and I'm dying, <laughs> so, and it's well into the triple digits most summers here, um, Let's see, welcome to the stream, and let's go ahead and jump in. So we are playing on Accurate. We're trying to get, um, trying to get Frodo's, uh, Frodo's, uh, health back up, because I made a little bit of a boo-boo the last time. <laughs> I wasn't watching his health, I forgot we were on Accurate, and, uh, uh, yeah, no thoughts head empty. We picked a fight we shouldn't have picked. But I think we do need to probably feed them, because they're at 40%, and the affinity is full. I think that was what we're gonna, we were gonna do, so let's move them back in the den. And hopefully nothing tries to kill us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we probably ought to go get some food. And we probably got to make sure that Pixis comes with us. So let's whine to get her attention. There we go. A little bit of leg. Go burr. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I can't believe. I, I don't even know exactly how that happened. We probably do want to... Well, ideally we want to find... Ideally we want to find a carcass. But and let's look at the territory too. Because I kind of remember that was... Um, that was not great. Okay, we'll kind of make a loop around this way. Uh, ADHD brain go burr. <laughs> um, uh oh, I don't know why the game is uh, chugging a little bit tonight. Might just be one of those days. But uh, yeah, um, I forgot you can't hunt mule deer solo on accurate with a wolf with uh, low HP in general. Frodo has, I think, a minus one. Minus one, yeah. Um, 
Zoya's lower than usual health, and uh, I, I don't know how that worked out. I don't know how we didn't heck and die. Somehow we didn't. But, uh, yeah, it was okay, but we lived on, like, I think it was 8%, uh, or something like that HP, and it was a little bit wild, and, yeah, uh, moral of the story is I need to focus, especially when we're gonna be doing our Iron Wolf playthrough, um, let's see, oh my goodness, yeah, it's been 100 plus here most days, it's still been, like, 100, or I think, no, I think today did hit 100, it was at least 99, uh, is still strong. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go mark the other one over here. There are mule deer. That's a hecking bear and, and her cubs. We're not gonna mess with that. Not poking this with a stick. Not today. Not uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, let's go over here and we will hunt instead. Um, yeah, lesson learned indeed. And I say lesson... Why are there so many bears? Uh, I say lesson learned, but I will absolutely forget and do it again because just no thoughts head empty. <laughs> Especially with these late night streams, that the combination of that and ADHD. I got talking and I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> so this time we're going to be more careful because Pixis is here. There's also Bison. Um, but uh, this is just, you know what, I'm, no, I'm not doing this, we're not, we're gonna hunt somewhere else, I'm not dealing with the floodlands, uh, I, I just, I can't stand, and I mean this in, like, the most loving way possible, I cannot stand the spring flood times, they're, they're such a pain, and, and like, I, I don't mean that in that I don't like that they exist, like, I think they're a cool feature, I think they're, they're, I did start my recording. <laughs> uh, I think they're a good feature, um, and I think they're an excellent part of the game, but for having to actually try to play around, they're not too fun. <laughs> they're, they're definitely something I avoid dealing with, and so I think they're a good feature, but they're not necessarily, um, they're not necessarily a positive for actually playing, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, Moobot uh, moderation settings are still we're, still, we're still adjusting those, so apologies if your messages get eaten, we'll try to be dealing with those and adjusting them as in, in order to make sure that they're both handling things and then also not going too chaotic, so uh, apologize, apologies if Moo eats your messages for a little bit here, uh, we're still figuring stuff out. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, the, I looked at Moobot settings, that's this very valid ring, because the last time I looked at the settings I was like, there's a lot of information here and I'm not sure how much of it I'm retaining. <laughs> uh, so, so we're figuring it out, we're, we're, we're getting used to it, it's just a little bit of an interface to have to deal with. Um, we'll get it figured out. Don't sweat it too much, um, I think most of the crowd we have here tends to be pretty chill. Um, and I'm not, I'm not too worried about it, I'm just, it's nice to kind of future-proof because uh, hopefully the channel will continue to grow, but, you know, bigger streams get rowdier, and as fun as it can be to have bigger streams, you do ne generally need more moderation, so having all this set up from the start here will we'll make it easier so that rain doesn't have to ha handle everything <laughs> uh, when, when more people start showing up. Why am I- what? Oh, that's a cougar. Okay. Is there- is there carcass? There's an elk herd. There's a moose. We want to try... Huh, the problem is we go this way. No, I think we wait. I think we, we keep looking this way. Because um, we gotta get food. I don't want to run... The, my, the concern that I have is running out of um, energy. Um, we don't have... Uh, we don't... Like, if we sleep again, we're not gonna heal well, and we're not gonna... Like, we're gonna have to the pups are gonna start to get hungry. Um, yeah, <laughs> and that's why I say, like, I like the feature, but I don't like having to deal with it. It's a, it's, the spring floods are a nice feature to have because they do introduce a very interesting gameplay element, but it's one that you have to work around rather than it being something that is actively helpful. Uh, so it's a good gameplay element, it's an interesting gameplay element, but they're, I don't like dealing with them. <laughs> So that's why I say I, I lovingly hate them. <laughs> uh, they are they are a good feature, but they are a pain. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, yeah, let, let me go this way. I think what we're gonna do. I'm trying to like balance reading chat with playing game because that was part of what got me off is I read chat too much, went on a tangent based off of it, and then didn't read chat as you guys were like, Jay, Frodo's health, his health, watch his health. 
<laughs> and I did not, and I did not see chat, and I did not see the health bar. I saw only mule deer and bite and talk. <laughs> so we're gonna try not to do that again. Um, yeah, the territory is very low in many parts. Um, uh, as I was explaining in the last episode, we had a, a bit of a boo-boo with a mule deer, um, because I forgot we were playing on accurate. <laughs> uh, which you guys did vote, or you guys did, so we have a little goal that you can see, uh, in the corner of the, the, or the lower right corner of the screen. Um, music? Hello? No, Pixis is peeing on things. Okay, I was like, what? what is happening? And then Pixis was just standing there. Yo, carcass time! Alright, this is what y'all like to see. This is... That's just a fox. You don't... Okay, we don't have to worry about that, lad. He's fine, he's fine. He's minding his own business. Don't... That's just a raven. For a second, I thought there was, like, a bear cub here. Pixis, it's okay. Just leave him be. There's plenty of the bison bull carcass. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why Frodo's low on health. Um, oh, Pixis! It's okay! It's okay, Pixis! Okay, he's leaving now. Alright, well, oh no, he's not leaving. Oh dear. Alright. Uh, we'll, well, no, maybe I don't actually want to take a meat chunk. We'll let, let Pixis eat, because Pixis needed food. Um, let's see. Uh, alright. I'm trying to see. Yeah, we, I was hoping we wouldn't have to hunt, and thankfully we do not have to hunt. Um, but we will go mark territory once. Pixis is pretty full on food, so we'll let her eat a little bit more. Welcome to everyone who's just joining the stream as well. Thank you for joining us. It's a little bit late. Uh, it's gonna be late through the summer. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if you're new and you don't know, I'm gonna probably say this every stream, but I, I live in the desert and it's very hot and this is the only time I can turn off my air conditioning. So, um, I might have a remedy to that soon. We'll see. There's gonna be some things happening that I'm hoping will help with that. Maybe we can finally make our stream times not 10 p.m. <laughs> but, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see right now. This is the only time I can turn my air conditioner off for an hour without just dying. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a ride. <laughs> um, yeah, Pixis do say leave. Uh, water deer. Yeah, the mule deer do go in the water quite frequently. I, I feel like I started a train of thought and then jumped off of it and started doing talking about something else and I have no idea what I was talking about and so I'm sorry to whoever was waiting for me to finish that uh, that train of thought. It's gone now. Um, this, this is just how it be. <laughs> this is just how it be. Whatever it was, um... I'm sorry, ask me later. <laughs> ask me again and, and maybe I'll start talking about it and actually finish it at some point. Um, let's see. Alright. I think we've got a little bit, um, we've got a little bit of territory to claim down further south-ish, but, um, I think we're gonna go back to the den. So let's uh, let, let's go ahead and uh, do that. And yeah, make sure to uh, make sure to keep conversation on relevant topics in the chat. Try not to go too far off topic. Um, but let's see. Let's we'll head back. I think we'll go ahead and feed the pups. We have three pups, by the way. Um, I showed them a little bit. So we have Lila, Hurricane, and Aspen. Aspen is her runt. She's at four point eight pounds. Had three females. Um, which is not something I've ever seen before, I think. I've, there's always been at least at least one of each, but this time it was just all girls, so uh, that'd be the way we vibe in, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we do have a runt this time, so we're probably going to be waiting on her most of all in order to get her weight up so that we can leave for the rendezvous side, but that's a little ways out. What I'm more concerned about is the flea load, because we spent some nights in the den due to Frodo being so low on health, uh, and now flea load go burr. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, the pink hex is on the territory. Uh, I clicked the wrong button here, but it's okay. That's Crevice Lake. Uh, Prospect Peak is blue, and Junction Butte is green there down here. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's go down here, and we will see. Oh, falling down a hill. <laughs> we're close to the end, though. We're close. We're, we're not, we'll, we'll be alright. Um... Right. We shouldn't be. Yeah, they'll be fine. I was a little worried about Affinity because I don't always. We don't always have Pixis with us, oftentimes. But we're probably gonna have to start having Pixis come with us because unless we can find our own food, like uh, carcasses, like that bison carcass. I should have marked that bison carcass. I didn't mark that bison carcass. But unless we find more uh, existing carcasses, 
we're probably gonna want Pixis to come with us because I think we're gonna have a difficult time hunting on our own. So let's go ahead, we'll feed him, and then I'd like to have Frodo sleep <laughs> and hopefully regain some, um, uh, hopefully regain some health here because he do be he do be a little bit lower than I like him to be. Frodo's already um, minus health, and so I do worry because he could technically just straight up get one shot by Borgersley. The good news is, thanks to only having three pups, we don't have to worry about feeding uh, a huge amount of food to them. I think this will probably take care of it pretty well. Puppy time, puppy time indeed. Um, here they are. We can't see them as well at night. The nighttime is pretty in this game, by the way. I do really like the nighttime. Uh, we almost never play at nighttime because it's harder to see in recording. <laughs> I, it feels like it always looks better in game than it does uh, on the recording or on the stream. So I don't usually play at night, but it's it's very pretty when we do. Um, and we'll get to see some of that here, but we will try it to sleep, I think. That's not anything in the background, is it? I do not think it is. Um, they are close, but not quite full, so I'm gonna feed them a little bit more, and then we're gonna sleep. I think I'm just seeing a tree moving. The other reason I don't like nighttime is that it's harder to see when something is coming. So, like, I do like it, but I don't like it, <laughs> uh, is the, the thing here. So, let's see. And I will catch up with chat more after this, because right now I'm focused on making sure that nothing runs out and, uh, and attacks us here. Oh, Pixis! All right, let's sleep, and then we will uh, we'll play with the puppers more in the morning, uh, and probably get a better look at them. Oh, look at Pixis curled up too. Oh, and it's snowing, and that that does the thing that can happen. That that can just happen in Yellowstone. All right, um, I'm gonna try to get us more on track because I do like playing during the daylight hours. All right, let's see. I've got a very bad feeling, so we're gonna just wolf the pup straight in the den. Uh, uh. Is that an eagle in the distance? No. Um. Oh. Uh-oh. I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh-oh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we, we're dealing with this. Um, Pixis, let's let's both go together. The pups are almost at full affinity. Um but yeah, we got stranger wolves on the way. <laughs> uh, and, we, and they're probably not that far away. Uh, okay, Pixis is coming with us. Stranger wolves from Junction Butte. And they were this way. Uh, not that long ago by the looks of it. Alright. Where did they go? Were they up here? Somewhere around here. Because here, because we have a scent post. That's a cougar. Um, we have our scent post in this hex. I think got claimed over. No, it's over here. So they probably went through this way. We'll probably see... Oh no, it didn't get claimed over. So... But there, there definitely are strange wolves here because we were just here uh, and that it was full and now it's not. So, hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, love-hate relationship with holy... What in the... What? What? Holy scent... <laughs> holy scent spores. Here we are. Okay, five minutes ago. Oh, where are these heckers? They went this way. Yeah, they're going for our den. Uh, they, I thought the predator sense was gonna be... Oh, there's three of them. I don't like that. Get out. Is that... Mm. Well, 2M is back. <laughs> You've seen Cricket Story. That's a, a That do be an interesting thing. But uh, we will we will make sure they vacate the territory here. Um, leave. Y'all can get. Here I was thinking I was being paranoid, but no, they were just here. <laughs> they were really just here. Uh, we do be doing detective work. Um, thankfully, because they're not at the den. Oh, and Pixis is just going for them. Because they're not at the den, they were not super inclined to stay. But we definitely do want to go back. And we will claim some of the territory down here today. But we just want to make sure these guys are well past our den. So we'll go back and play with Pops for a bit here. They have been yoded. We have yoded the doggos. <laughs> Be gone indeed. All right. Let's head up this way. We will play with the puppers and then we will um, go mark some territory. And I think I do. Oh, and there's actually still food here for them, I guess. Uh, considering that Pixis is, or considering that we just chased three strange wolves, I think it would be wise to bring Pixis with us and hopefully also find some food. 
but we'll see. Um, and then we are still a little bit low on the um, energy, and so I think we want to probably get back and sleep fairly early. Uh, I'm going to be trying to kind of return to the normal sleep schedule, we'll sleep twice through night and then be awake in the daytime, just because that's easiest for folks watching. But that will take a little bit to do, as <laughs> resetting one's sleep schedule does. Alright, I think they're pretty good. Let's move them back in the den. And I think hopefully the Stranger Wolves will leave us the heck alone now. Um, we do got a mystery about Solstice and his mysterious twin brother. Lila, are you? Okay, she's gone. <laughs> his mysterious evil twin, evil doppelganger. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, we're not immune to that here, I guess, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how the danger intuition works. I just sometimes you just know. <laughs> sometimes it's just like, hmm, it do be time for Stranger Wolf attack now, though. Um, I'm surprised. I think we caught him just before they jumped us too. They seemed like they were getting pretty close, and they were definitely headed straight for the den. So I'm glad we caught them when we did, and not later than that. Uh, it was a very, very, very good thing. Um, and it's a lot easier to chase them when they're not at the den. And we definitely want to avoid. Do be them. That do be them. I don't know. I don't know what happened to 2M. Which is suspicious, all things considered. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah. I'm glad we caught them when we did because they're easier to chase when they're not at the den than when they're actually at it. Um, yeah, the music in this game is very good, but some of it, some of it is, uh, some of it is, is a little bit... Hey, bear, no. No, how about we do not? Um, some of it is a little bit terrifying. Oh, is that... That's 2M. 2M has rejoined them. Okay. Um, I do love the Wolf Quest music, but some of it would be a little bit scary. Like, I've tried to listen to the soundtrack, uh, when I'm, like, not playing the game, but I get stressed out because the, the Predator music comes on and, uh, and, and will scare me. Um, I just, I remember I was sitting there trying to do other things while I was listening to the Wolf Quest music and all of a sudden I was suddenly and inexplicably stressed and it took me a second to figure out what had happened, but I realized the, the Wolf Quest, um, Stranger Wolf music had come on <laughs> and I've played so much of this game that that's just instinctually ingrained into my being now <laughs> that, that the, the, the universal sign of bad news to me. <laughs> And so, like, in the middle of doing something else, I just stopped and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and I didn't remember that it was just because I was listening to the, the Wolf Quest music. So I can't listen to the Wolf Quest music while I do other things. As much as I love the, the soundtrack, it, it, uh, it gets too intense for me. <laughs> um, yeah, Bear is definitely worse than Three Stranger Wolves because Bears can probably one-shot us, and I don't like that. Not something I want to heck around with. Really not. Truly would like to avoid this. Um, it is excellent music. They have done a phenomenal job on it, but it's just, why do I hear boss music? <laughs> uh, I do, I love the music. I love it dearly, but it scared me. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's valid. That's exactly what happened to me. Uh, sometimes I think when you when you play a game that much, you just you just know you're just like, oh, this music means danger time, <laughs> and then that soundtrack is forever when you're when you're trying to try to do other things. Even uh, it's just forever time for danger, <laughs> uh, and that is very much where I'm at with Wolf Quest music. Um, I love it, but I I can't listen to it outside the game. It's just it's it's too too ingrained into me as game now. <laughs> Um, the soundtrack is available to purchase as a DLC, I believe. Uh, I think you can find it just on the Steam page, um, if you do want to listen to it outside of gameplay <laughs> and can do that without being stressed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is excellent music, and I think it- oh, time for a hunt, maybe? Um, if they don't go right in the river, we'll see. 
Um, but it, it's excellent music, too, for its purpose in the game, because, like, just the fact that, okay, they're gonna go in the river, I'm not dealing with this. Uh, I'm a, I'm a lazy hunter. <laughs> um, I don't heck around with this kind of nonsense and shenanigans. Um, but it is excellent music, too, because, like, just the fact that it can be that instinctual, that, like, instinctively you know, oh, this is fight music, uh, it, it's excellent music for that purpose, because that provides a very clear audio cue of things are about to go down, and that's great when you're playing a game to have that sound layering that just accents it all so well and uh, and adds to all of it in such a good way uh, so it, it is phenomenal soundtrack design like the wolf quest soundtrack is amazingly well done uh, they truly did an incredible job on it <laughs> oh wait I'm not in the, I'm like that why is it pointing me backwards because I'm not in the new hex yet um, I don't know if it's available on Spotify or not I I don't think it I've never I've not heard of it. If it is, I've not heard that, or that information has not been retained, <laughs> which could also be, um, but I'm not aware of it being on Spotify. Yeah, they did be, re they did be heading for the river. Uh, yeah, the hunting music is great. There's, like, several hunting soundtracks, too. There's a, di there's a unique one from, from Mule Deer that's different from the Elk. There's, um, I think there's a separate one even for Moose as well. Uh, or at least ones that you usually play when you're hunting those thing, uh, those different things. Uh, the elk one is really cool. I'm pretty sure they talked kind of about the development that went into designing it early on. I'm not- I don't want to bother- well, actually, no, I should absolutely bother with elk because it's going to be earlier and early enough in the year that they're going to be weak as heck. Alright, we should absolutely bother with them because I was going to say they won't have their babies yet, but it do be springtime, and uh, that means some of the elk will be very weak. And usually, like, you don't want to heck around with full health elk on accurate. That's going to be bad news. But these guys are not going to be full health. There's going to be at least a few that are very, very low. So that's what we did. That's how we got through this in previous years, because we had an elk herd right there. Um, previous years, I say. Previous in-game years. All right, we're going to go straight in Junction Butte territory and probably get jumped. Uh, hopefully that don't be the case, but it probably will. Uh, and we got to move, because we don't much have uh, stamina either. We're, or we're not going to have it for much longer. We're going to get tired. All right, how far away are these guys? Hopefully not very. I'm going to not mind chat quite as much because I'm going to be hunting, so pardon me. I'm just trying to not do what I did the previous time and uh, go go um, hunt and go bird, but no watch health. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, these guys are here. All right, never mind. Abort mission. We're leaving. We're out. Nope, not dealing with this heckery today. Not not today. Not today. Pixis, are you with me? Yes, Pixis is with us. All right, we're, we're leaving. Nope, not, not today. Not dealing with this. All right, never mind. We're not going to hunt them. We'll look for something else on the way back. Um, can I... That's Pixis running with me. There do be mule deer here. Can I pee on their scent post in this uh, hex over here, though? Is the question. Probably not. Never mind. We're leaving. Goodbye. Good day, sirs. Good day, sirs and ma'ams to all y'all. Actually, not good day. Um, not a good day for either of us, really, because I'm not sure you appreciated chasing us out of our territory, and I sure as heck didn't appreciate getting chased. But, you know what I mean. We're, we're going now. We're going. Alright, hopefully there will be another elk herd, because I really like that game plan, and I'm sad that it didn't pan out. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, yeah, it is a DLC exclusive, I'm pretty sure, but it, it does go back to support the game development, and, like, I, I'm all for supporting indie games, especially... Uh, because there's so many amazing indie games and WolfQuest is one of the best that I've played, uh, for sure. And, um, it, it can be harder for them to make it than big studio games. So I always recommend getting as much as you can for, if you, if you like an indie game, then get what you can to support it because it'll go back into the development, uh, more directly than bigger games. But not bigger games too, though, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of, <laughs> I kind of do how the game industry works. But especially with indie games that uh, may not have as much of that uh, innately just from being with a bigger studio and being better known. Uh, definitely support them where you can. It, it does go back into helping continue to fund the development, and we always want to see that. Alright, there's Mule Deer this way. Um, Mule Deer, that's a buck. We're not dealing with that. Nope. Oh, hope we can find something to eat, but I'm not confident we can. That's a moose. We're definitely not going to eat that one. Um... Let's see. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it is possible to do it on accurate, but we also died, almost died to a meal deer last time, so I'm just, like, not keen on doing that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's possible. Is it a good idea? Always? Not always. So that, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, I've successfully hunted, at least on challenging a bull elk before, but, uh, generally, like, I do like accurate for the reason- oh, I smell elk this way. Um... I do like Accurate for the reason that it does force you to make those decisions more carefully, uh, because that's really what wolves in the real world have to do. Uh, they have to weigh the odds very carefully because any hunt comes with the risk of just straight up getting straight up getting ye yeeted, straight up just dying. <laughs> so you have to weigh those risks very carefully. And I think Wolf Quest did a great job of making players kind of have to simulate that. Um, is this? That's a mule deer. Okay, I was gonna say, this isn't a bull elk herd, but I don't think it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that Wolf Quest did a great job of making players have to make similar decisions. Aww, we're almost out of stamina. Alright, we, this may not go well. We might have to rely quite a lot on Pixis. If it doesn't go well, we're gonna turn around and go home. But, and we're almost full health anyway, so, like, it's not a huge deal. Oh, there's a carcass! Okay, that's even better. Alright, that's ideal, that's ideal. If we can find the carcass. Um, I smell bison carcass somewhere. It's not back here, is it? No. I don't think so. I think it was up ahead still. If we can find the carcass, that's the best, best thing. But I don't know if we'll be able to find the carcass. Oh, it is still this way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna look for it. We're gonna look for it. <laughs> it is a bison carcass, too. We do see a lot of bison carcasses, which is nice when that happens. So somewhere up here, there is a bison carcass, but it might be kind of far away. And it might get eaten not careful. Up here. How far away is it? I do see it this way. Um, I'm also really watching the pack of thin because we're gonna have to move to get back. Uh, and I'm not sure... Alright, I think we look for the bison carcass. Is this... This is the carcass. Okay. Just coyotes. Y'all leave. Uh, we're gonna eat fast and then get back to the pups. This is ideal so that we don't have to hunt. But it really does make you make those choices. Because you have to decide, is it worth risking it to to uh, go on a hunt, or is it better looking for a carcass and maybe not finding one, uh, or even waiting a day without food? You have to really weigh those odds, and that's not always an easy thing to do. Oh, we took a meat chunk. <laughs> uh, but it, it's, I think, a really, really neat thing that Wolf Quest has managed to replicate. I just want to make sure Pixis gets her fill, too. She's at 120%, so she's close. Um... Hey, I'm glad the live stream be vibing. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm in a chaotic mood, but I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. Um, oh yes, that's right. I always forget we can drink water. <laughs> that's one of the that's one of the cool new features that's in Wolf Quest 3, and I keep forgetting it's a thing. Um, yeah, our IRL night vibes they they do be vibing. <laughs> it do be late, and we probably won't be streaming that much longer too because it is getting late, and I will have to sleep soon. Just anyway. Um, well, kind of soonish, but I'm yeah, not gonna be coherent for that much longer. <laughs> and for those y'all who are in later time zones, I'm in a pretty early one, uh, it's even later. So yeah, I don't want to keep anybody up too much. Uh, definitely go to bed if you need to. Uh, you can always catch these later on the JZX55 uh, Twitch channel, uh, as VODs for the first two weeks, or on the JPlays2 channel forever after that. Um, so yeah, if you miss a stream, don't worry, you're always able to catch it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we didn't find a bear on top of bison carcass, because that's always another thing, is like, okay, what if there's a bear? Do you risk chasing it off, or do you go try to find something to hunt? Um, what is the better option? What's going to be the one that is most likely to actually work out for you? You kind of have to take those, make those decisions, make those choices, and that's something that uh, a wolf would have to face in the real world, where every fight comes with a significant risk of just death. <laughs> so it's definitely something you have to be very, very mindful of, because, you know, like, wild wolves live very dangerous lives uh, because even if they get hurt in a fight, you know, they don't have vets out in the wild, but not usually, unless they get caught by researchers uh, and helped, which I don't even know how much hello? I think that was just a hair. I don't even know how much that happens that a wolf would get um, caught and treated versus, like, collared and tracked. I don't know how much researchers interfere. It might depend on the, the population and if they're even able to find a wolf that's hurt because that's no easy feat, I'd imagine. But, you know, if a wolf gets hurt, it's a lot more serious. Whereas, you know, we're used to our pets. You know, if they get hurt or sick, we can just bring them to a vet. Wolves don't have that luxury in the wild. 
and so things can get very serious very quickly, so they really have to, and then that's why you'll see so much intimidation in fights, you'll see the wolves growling and snarling very vocally at each other, but not actually biting each other. Uh, a lot can be done just through intimidation and body language, and uh, that can be very important because if you can intimidate an opponent into leaving just by snarling at him, then you don't risk getting bitten. Um, so it's, I think this Wolf Quest has really been good about kind of replicating that and emulating that and giving, especially on accurate, giving players a reason to avoid those fights because they can get very serious and very dangerous just as they can in the real world. So I think the uh, game devs did a great job on the, on the game in, in most aspects, honestly. Like, I can't think of anything that makes me legitimately unhappy about the way Wolf Quest runs currently. Like, I don't have any major- I, I can't think of off the top of my head of any major critiques they've done overall a very good job with the game. Uh, I think they, they've honestly done an outstanding job. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to be able to support them and be able to play Wolf Quest on, on the internet with y'alls. Um, but uh, they, they did a very good job in that aspect of showing just how difficult it can get and making you make those hard choices. Uh, we're gonna play a little bit longer, we got about 15 minutes left, so I think we can go for another day here. Um, yeah, that makes sense too. I get, I didn't think about, and especially like, you know, desert adapted animals and whatnot are, are designed to be able to get even more water intake from food, but I imagine they would get quite a lot um, of their water just from the, the things that they eat. We're we're doing okay, right? The pups are the pups are okay. Okay, Aspen's at almost six pounds, so we got a ways to go. Um, but they're doing a whole. Where are you going, hon? Ma'am, thank you. <laughs> uh, ooh, there's the there's the stars. The stars the stars are very pretty. Ah, man, I want to see skies like this in real life. Like, there's a lot of light pollution where I live, and it makes me sad. I love the stars. They're just so heckin' pretty. <laughs> and I don't I don't get to look at them as much as I wish I could. Oh, not good. Not good. Please go in the den. Please go in the den. Please go in the den. Pops in the den. Pops in the den. Pops in the den. Where? Where? Where are you? Where are these heckers? Where did they go? Um, I don't know. Pix is just plunked down. Uh... Where are they? Oh, she found him. She found him. Are they leaving? Is there only one? There's only one. Whew! One F. One F. Yep, okay, she's leaving. That's the dominant female. Get out. Leave us alone. Don't want to have to deal with you. Good news is we got our affinity up, so we should be fine. Um. <laughs> internet slang, go burr. Go burr is just like. I don't even know how you explain it. It's just like a, a joking way of, of pointing out that something is happening uh, or something is vibing, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, bad dog was on the loose. Yeah, Mama Butte herself. <laughs> Mama Butte. That, <laughs> that's, I didn't even register how good that was for a second, but I love it. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, she, she really did walk her way down here. And, um, and pick a fight. She did. Alright, let's go this way. Hello, Bison. Goodbye, Bison. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> um, yeah, I just... It makes me think of... There, there was a video of a... Um, I think it was a reporter who was reporting at Yellowstone and he very iconically said, oh no, I'm not messing with you because I heard a bison started walking towards him. That video is around somewhere. I don't know what it's called. Um, but it, it's, it was, that, that, that's about the, the, I'm not messing with you is probably the most, both the most adequate and the best response you can have to bison because bison are just so impossibly heck off huge. Like, I, I don't even, if you've not seen a bison, it is very difficult to describe just how big they are. They're, they're big, and they're mean, and they're scary, <laughs> and I do not want to mess with the bison. Uh, when we went to Yellowstone IRL, um, like, they were, they were significant in comparison to our minivan. <laughs> uh, like, I could look out the window of a minivan sitting in the minivan and be like eye level with them maybe <laughs> so like they they're they're big they they're big and they're mean and you just don't want to mess with them uh, and i say that both as a person in real life and as a wolf in game they're just not worth it uh, if you guys have seen the elements pack 
Oh, we spent so long messing with the with the bison, and it just never ended well. <laughs> it just didn't end well. Even with Terra, it didn't end well. Um, so, and like, you know, that's, that's a big thing, too, is you have to be really careful in real life. A lot of people will go, oh, you know, it's a bison, it's an elk, it's deer, it's a prey animal. But that's exactly what makes them a little bit... Like, they're almost, I would rather deal with a wolf than I than with an elk, honestly. Um, because, like I said, you know, predators in particular have to think about the kind of fights that they want to pick. And a lot of the time, it's not worth picking that fight. But if you're a prey animal, you're operating under the assumption that most things probably want to hunt you. And so you're more likely to fight back because, oh, there's beaver here. Um, you're more likely to, to fight back because, you know better to better to deal with a thing first before it comes to mess with you oh there's beavers down here i'm gonna run up here oh the wind is in a good direction too yes yes all right we're gonna we're gonna crouch we're gonna crouch um i don't necessarily want to be on the trail i want to be this way a little bit beavers will be good on accurate because i think if they don't do too much damage to us <laughs> um but i think we got one coming up the trail here um but yeah, um, prey animals can be almost more scary than predators in many cases because they're going to operate on the assumption that you might attack them first and so if they feel threatened, they're just going to come after you whereas a predator might be more likely to try and avoid a fight and a lot of people underestimate prey animals for that reason but honestly, like, I'd rather deal with a predator than with a prey animal in many cases because I'm going to assume that they will hope that I'm not going to pick a fight with them and will try to avoid picking a fight with me. Um... Yes, yeah, stranger wolves. Stranger wolves are trying to eliminate competition. It's bears and cougars that, and eagles that are their first snack. Uh, stranger wolves and coyotes are instinctually trying to eliminate competitors because a puppy's gonna grow up to be a wolf that uh, could bother them when they're an adult and could be a competitor to them eventually. And so it makes sense that you know they'd want to want to try to take them out and get rid of that competition. So that's why they will attack wolf pups. But bears and cougars and eagles are the ones that are looking for a snack. I will read more chat in a second. Uh, right now, time for munch. <laughs> oh, go get him, go get him, please. There we go. Oh, we still did good damage. We still do very good damage. Okay, oh, we're gonna get some damage here, though. All right, beavers are good on accurate. I did not know that this was gonna be so good. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, let's get a little stamina back. We're just gonna trot along with this lad, and there we go. Time for snack. All right, let's, uh, let's eat some food. Um, oh no, IRL headache is not good. Uh, I am so sorry. I hope that, <laughs> hope that clears up for you because that's not, not too fun. Uh, I also tend to get a lot of headaches and they're just not pleasant things. Um, I always get migraines in the summer because unfortunately that's what happens when I get too hot. Uh, uh, it just decides to be migraine time and I'm like, no, please. <laughs> um, yeah, Moobot, Moobot, like... If you're not if you're not doing anything and Mubot is wild and we're still fine tuning it, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, we're we're keeping an eye on what works and what doesn't. Again, a lot of it is future proofing because you know I do intend to keep doing these streams. We do hope the community uh, will continue to grow, but you know bigger communities more easily can get rowdy, and so it's good to have Automod on hand as well, so that Ray doesn't have to do everything by hand. Um, but it's a little overzealous now as we're trying to figure out what actually works and what doesn't. So, um, oh no! Hopefully the stream lag clears up. We can try refreshing. I'm not seeing anything on my end here. It looks like everything's holding pretty steady for me. So hopefully it'll clear up on its own or be fixed by refreshing. Alright, this one we'll try and... Is this the one that's... Oh no, it's over here. Okay. Can't see. Yeah, I kind of forgot about beavers for a second too. Oh, I hear Pixis. Let's howl back to her. I kind of forgot as well until I smelled them and then I was like, oh yeah, we have beavers now. <laughs> Yo, 44.4k channel, 44 channel points, nice. Rain has very many channel points. Uh, channel point go burr. Um, and I don't think she spent them too often, but uh, she's also been accumulating. She's here every stream, so it does, it do add up. But, um, I'm curious to see, like, just how many channel points you continue to end up with. Yo, is that a beaver trail on the other side? Yo, beavers. Beaver, beaver, beaver. Alright, we're, we're not gonna worry about beaver now. We, we might, well, we might worry about beaver on this side of the river if we find one. Uh, because I do think there'd be a beaver trail over here somewhere. 
but I'm not 100% sure. So, if we find Beaver Trail, we'll go hunt Beaver, because I'd like to bring something back for Pixis, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. Because uh, how much is our food? I just looked, and that was the purpose of what I opened that menu for, and then I didn't see what her food was at. Um, I think she can. Like, she, she could go a night without eating and be okay, but ideally she does not have to. I'm not hunting a mule deer, not solo. We're not doing that again. <laughs> Um, it might take another half year to get to 100k. Yo, if you, I, I, I'm looking forward to when you, when you get to 100k. That's gonna be a fun day. Oh yeah, that's valid. That is that is valid too. It does help to know how many how many points people can have because then they can price uh, channel point rewards accordingly. <laughs> um, because we do have fun stuff that we can do from channel points from time to time. I don't think we have anything open at the moment because we're not really moving dens. We've already named the pups, but we probably will have to move dens at some point here. So that'll be opening up, and of course, eventually we're gonna have to go to the rendezvous site. So we'll be opening up names for that, uh, and then whenever Puma has pups, or even when we need to name Puma's mate then uh, we'll be able to submit uh, names for them with channel points as well. So uh, let's see. Yep, I do. Oh, I'm falling. There we go. <laughs> oh man, a million channel points would be a wild day. Uh, I hope we can make it that far, but that might be a ways in the future. Um, yep, yep. <laughs> that do be the wolf quest equivalent of walking into a room and forgetting why. Uh, oh my goodness. See you later, Pika. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you can make it. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Just absolutely throws confetti everywhere. I don't know if I can do that. I have to see if Streamlabs would let me do that because that would be very, very fun. Um, I'm going to go see if the bison carcass we found out here is still around because I'd like to call Pixis over. And we still have plenty of uh, energy. We have enough to run over there. It do be pretty late, so I'm probably going to wrap up when we get back to the den, but I'm not going to go straight back just yet. Um, but yeah, we'll be wrapping up pretty soon here because it be almost 11 and I'm going to have to take a snooze eventually. <laughs> uh, but we'll be back here tomorrow night starting at 9 and running until 11, uh, hopefully the same time that we're wrapping up now. Um, and we'll be doing an interactive Iron Wolf stream. So kind of, I'll talk a little bit more about that on the way. So I'm still finalizing the uh, reward ideas, but we'll have those ready for tomorrow. Uh, basically, the idea is we're going to be doing a playthrough on Iron Wolf all the way from age 2 through age 8. Uh, and all the litters along the way. Uh, assuming we survive that long, that is. We'll be playing on Acura, we'll be playing with Permadeath on, and you guys will have the chance to uh, donate to be able to introduce further complications. So, for example, you can donate and we have to move dens. Uh, and we just we, we just have to leave. Like, I just have to wrap up what I'm doing and go back to the den and we have to move. <laughs> uh, so if you want to make it harder, you can do that. Uh, if you want to make it more challenging for me, you can do that. Uh, and the idea is we'll kind of roll with the punches along the way and figure out how that's going to go uh, when, kind of as things happen so you guys will have the chance of a very interactive ability uh, ability to impact the story. Now I don't 100% know what all we're going to be able to do. Oh, <laughs> there was one that was just like jumping around on top. Um, let's howl and call Pixis over as well because I want her to be able to eat. That was the biggest reason I'm coming over here. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be what we're going to be doing tomorrow, and then on Thursday night we will be back to Frodo's quest, and we'll be continuing on with that, uh, and then eventually that will turn into Puma's quest, as we'll be rejoining up with that, and then we'll also vote for Frodo's heir while that's running, and uh, vote between his surviving pups, and is that just a rock? That do just be a rock, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just kind of chill out for a bit, there's an eagle hanging out, we'll vibe here for a minute. Um, yeah, Pixis has been hanging out at home, but we called her over, we howled to her, so she's on her way, we just- Are you coming to heck around? Are, did you say something? Excuse you? Excuse you? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Yeah? Heck around and find out. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I didn't think you wanted to mess with me. Alright, they're coyotes. They're not gonna they're not gonna do too much to us unless they get really desperate. A lot of the time they're pretty uh, easy to intimidate. I've only seen really bold coyotes on a few occasions. And they can be scary when they are, but most of the time at a carcass they're not they're they're persistent, but uh, they're not overly 
They're not usually overly dangerous at a carcass. Hello? Oh, that's just a fox. I don't totally mind you you hanging out, but also please don't eat the food. I need it for my mate. You, you don't want to do that. You don't want to pick this fight. I will kick your butt. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Hey, Pixis. All right, we'll let Pixis eat food, and then we will go back to the peppers, and we will bid them good night and wrap up. Um, but yeah, so the idea is we're going to be playing our Wolf Quest main series on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the time being, and then we'll have assorted other streams on Wednesdays. So sometimes it'll be your Iron Wolf challenge. It might be other things occasionally. We might not stream every time. We might do Planet Zoo as well. I do want to keep doing that. Uh, so we'll probably have that on Wednesday. So it'll vary from week to week, and I'll keep you guys updated as to what that is going to be. But uh, this week is going to be our Iron Wolf Challenge series. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 he, he did be talking to talk, but he, he sure ain't walking the walk. Uh, talk all big and talk all tough, but he runs off <laughs> the minute I start snarling. Yeah, there was an eagle, too. Yeah? <laughs> Are you approaching me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Gosh, do you think that that do you think that's what what dogs are saying when they bark at each other through the fence? Like, are are they just like challenging each other in true anime drama fashion? <laughs> Is that what all those fence conflicts are, or they just sit and bark back and forth at each other at a distance? <laughs> Is that what it sounds like in their language? Is it just the over dramatized anime scene? <laughs> Oh my goodness, anime insults. <laughs> I, that, that's, I don't know if I'm just tired or if that's genuinely really funny, but that really is cracking me up right now. I, can't, I can never tell at this time of night if, if things are like genuinely funny or if I'm just delirious. <laughs> this is about, about the time of night when, when everything gets very funny uh, on some days, so... <laughs> um... Oh my, <laughs> there was a video you saw of a bunch of people yelling, I'm outside in their backyard saying dogs bark. That's great. Okay, human pretends to be animal of various, various kind and translates their speech into human speech is, is like one of my favorite genres of funny videos because it's, it's just always so funny <laughs> to see people impersonating what they think animals are saying to each other. It's always so funny and over the top. I just, I love it. <laughs> Um, hey, yeah, always hang on to, always hang on to good references, you never know when they'll come in handy. Um, alright, I think, how are we doing? I'll let him eat a little bit more, we'll play a little bit more, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap up, because it is getting to be about that time, it's pretty late. Thank y'all for coming, and I hope you have enjoyed, but we are gonna be ending off here for the day, and I will hopefully see y'all tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, okay. Can I do my gosh dang outro in peace? <laughs> no, I cannot. Never. Not once. Not ever. Not 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 allowed. Not allowed. Alright. Um Where is this hacker? Where'd you go? Oh, did I see you flying? No, I didn't. I think that was a leaf. I don't even see this land. Where where he be? Where he be? Where you go? Snack out my pups, get out of here. There you are. Leave! Go away! Vacate the premises at once. This is my turf. And we'll jump out of the sky and bite you, so help me leave. <laughs> I okay, there we go. I always keep woofing through it because I get paranoid that the that the um the pups are gonna pop out and the eagle's just gonna be like yoink. So I always end up standing here and woofing. <laughs> Um, uh, but that probably, that, that, that always makes me think of, like, Sierra always would do this, um, she would, she would always, if, they, if, like, we had, for a while, we had, like, uh, pest control people come to spray for bugs, and she would just stand at the window in the house and poke her nose through the shades and just go, <laughs> really quietly, like a whispered woof under her breath. <laughs> uh, and that, that was, that was all she'd do, she'd just stand there and go, woof. <laughs> <laughs> really quietly. Uh, she knew we were saying it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> but she she had to she had to get her boof off. But anyway, uh, danger's gone. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, and don't forget to drop a follow here on Twitch so that you can see when we go live. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up.
this up here, so I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.